Every Thursday afternoon, a white van drives into Trowbridge. Friday's Wiltshire Times has arrived. A reader will be waiting for it. In this case, Karen Felton, and there's a team waiting to film her doing her reading. Harold is lighting technician and camera one. Ten, nine, yeah, that's working. Lovely. I'm nowhere near yet. I'm rolling too. I've got 27 minutes to go on the card, so okay. you can just uh, retire and keep quiet. Can't remember where everything is. This takes its time. There we go. <laughs> it takes its time. Sorry, there's a lot of wasted time at the beginning. Oh, that's already edited that day. Mm -hmm. Hello, this is Karen Felton of Trowbridge Talking News. Today I'm reading articles from the Wiltshire Times of the 28th of January, and the duplication is being carried out by Paul. Oh dear, I've forgotten already, that's no good, is it? Stop. Actually, that wasn't recording, so I'm all right. It's on, on oh, yours. Oh. Hello, this is Karen Felton of Trowbridge Talking News. Today, I'm going to be reading articles from the Wiltshire Times of the 28th of January, and the duplication is being carried out by Peter Ford. If you want to check on this week's cinema programmes, they're at the end, along with the family announcements and our contact details. The headline this week is barn fire horror. And the photograph shows a barn which is truly gutted out by fire. So reading on on page two, council tax is set for a rise. Authority faces pressure to keep the books balanced. Shall I just carry straight on? Yeah, one more I think. One more. <clears throat> Last week I read about pensioners who were about to get married. Well, in this week's paper, on the next page, I've got a lovely headline and a beautiful photograph. Pensioners wed with loving kiss. And the photograph... So at last we're on to a good news story. Trouble is, the audio wasn't very good, so we had to use Karen's. Editing then revealed later that she seemed to have re-recorded that track after we'd left. It didn't match the visuals. The pink tie, and they both look incredibly happy. Harold was ace with cutaways, and okay, filming I'm Peter Ford went well. Though I'll swear Karen got his name wrong at the door. Wait and see. Peter made really light work of the duplication process, hours ahead of the six o'clock collection, which would get the memory sticks out for Saturday. Well done, Peter. By way of post-mortem, I would like to have included this story. You probably didn't notice that I cleaned up the logo. And it would have been nice to have included Harold's cutaway of the postie delivering. The music was very carefully chosen, and it came from Band in a Box. But I forgot to give PG Music credit, so let's get it right this time. 